Hello, craft. Third time's the charm. What a bummer. We're having some technical difficulties. Well, Facebook glitching. <laughs> uh, we're not able to do a uh, combo live, so we're going to try to bring Katie on. If she can't come on, I'm just going to go ahead with the tutorial, and she'll be in the comments. You guys uh, deserve to have your tutorial, so I will I will run it alone if she can't make it up, if we can't get her on. <laughs> So, hello again, everybody, <laughs> and I am so thankful to you all for hanging on and hanging in, so let's, um, wait, just, if, let's give her a few minutes and make sure, you know, before I move on without her, I don't want to do that, because, you know, we love to do it together, so, so hi again, everyone, <laughs> that was fun, we did this, we at least got the the spin in and then it completely kicked us both off. <laughs> but uh, congratulations, Jody, Chris, and Michelle. That's pretty cool. I'm so excited. <laughs> Hi, Christy and Kathleen and oh my goodness, everybody. And Bambi and Christy. Allison, Zebra, Jennifer, Jan, Julie. Oh, and Margie. All right, I don't, Katie, are you on? I don't even see Miss Katie. Come on, Miss Katie. Do you guys see her on yet? There she is. Okay, I'm going to try to add her. Love. What well, hell? Tequila. Now your eyes are <laughs> So y'all got drunk while you were waiting for us, huh? <laughs> Aren't you a hoot? You know, this thing, I want to <laughs> use these tonight, but every time I open this thing, I do it from the wrong side, and it's deceiving. I think I did it again. Yeah. Anyway, so the things I have in mind, it says it's adding you, Katie, but it's not. I don't see... Actually, I don't even see you on anymore. Okay, there you are again. Let me try again. Okay, so I'm going to be using gouache. I'm pretty sure Katie will be too using gouache. We picked out some colors ahead of time, thankfully. <laughs> Have, it doesn't say it's adding her. I don't even think it's allowing any... Oh, she's, there you are, Miss Katie. Hi. <laughs> All right, we'll give her a few minutes. It won't add her right away, so we'll have to, we'll gear up. So I'm going to go ahead and start, Katie, and then when you're ready, hit uh, join in and I'll accept and we'll see if it works out. So the colors of the gouache tonight are, and I may or may not use all of these, we have the three greens, seaweed, sap green, and olive green. And these are Arteza gouache colors. And then scarlet red, crimson red, and burnt umber. And I reserve the right to change my mind. You guys know me. So I am basically going to do my own thing, but with similar colors. Oh, Karen has no audio. Okay, so do can you guys hear me? Okay, I think that's the only one I see with no audio. Oh, I have my... Sorry about that. Let me turn those off. Okay, Katie, I'm going to try to... Okay, so you guys got sound. That's pretty awesome. Crimson, or no, that's scarlet red. Katie, can you hear me? <laughs> oh, now Elaine doesn't have any sound. Oh, no. Hi, Joan. The only thing I can say 
for the sound problem is go out and come back in. That seems to help. And it happens quite often, especially if you have an iPhone. And we aren't sure what that's about, but. Oops. In just a minute, you know, got to. It's still not letting Katie come on, so I'm going to go ahead and then we'll keep trying as we are working. Oops, mug, sorry. Okay. So this one is the scarlet red and it's so beautiful and bright red. It says it's adding, you miss Katie, but it's been saying that all night. Yeah, the change brushes, that is not working for me. Not at all, maybe. Right, it says it's adding again. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and do the L with all red. And I want it pretty saturated. I'm going to be foiling over these. I got some outside of my line, not to worry, a little water. Cool thing about gouache, it's still adding Katie. So Miss Katie's going to be in the comments if we can't get her back on. So if you guys have questions about what she's using or um, what she's doing on her rock, we were trying to be as close to the same thing as possible. I see you trying to come on and I'm adding. So what are you, are, is anybody painting along with us tonight? I think I saw a couple people said they had their rocks prepped and ready to go and they were excited. I think this is going to be a really, really cute, cute rock when it's done. It says it's still adding, Katie. Connection failed. Darn it. I'm going to keep doing it though. We're not going to give up. You know, we'll be working along and all of a sudden we'll see her forehead or something. <laughs> That's what happened to me on the other one. I wasn't paying attention. You guys got a full facial shot. <laughs> oh, Friday night fuzz head. <laughs> Scary. It is a Facebook conspiracy. I agree, Mita. Oh, no, not cool. 
I'm quite tired of it though. We thought we had it all figured out and then we got had what a few great ones where there were no troubles. Now here we go back to the problems again. Yay, one pretty L. Yeah, it's Lonnie, it is. It's like it's buffering and it never stops. And then it keeps saying connection failed. And it boots us right back to having to ask and request again. So. Right, I'm going to use, mix a little bit of this um, scarlet and crimson together and do the V a bit darker. Katie, are you doing okay? I think she might have got kicked off completely again. She's not on. It's gouache. Um, sorry. <laughs> yep, I'm using Arteza gouache. I don't know if I say that right either. It might be Arteza, Arteza. Oh, good. Sorry, Miss Katie. Hi, Daphne. <laughs> Daphne was our winner for the daily challenge, a monthly spin. That means that Daphne participated every day. Actually, I think she did. She did every single day on the calendar with Linda Howard. And um, so she got two spots on the wheel. If you complete every single day of the challenge, you get two goes at it. Congratulations, Ms. Daphne. Hi, Anisi. Okay, Katie, I see you again. Let me try to bring you on. It says no answer from guests. Let's see again. Okay, now it says it's adding. Oh, I missed the comment, Lonnie. I saw Allison laugh, though, so it must have been funny. <laughs> you know, I'm trying to read comments in paint, and that's where it's like, <laughs> ask Katie, am I driving when we're talking? Oh, yeah, not a good thing. <laughs> it's like doing two things at once is not my uh, strong suit. So if I go start painting like off the side of the rock, it's because I'm reading comments. <laughs> oh, my gosh, you guys, this is just not even cool. I miss my partner in crime. She's my painting partner. Oh, no. I know it's like I can't function anymore on a tutorial without Miss Katie. 
she's my pickle beer drinking funny friend, you know? <laughs> I'm still trying for you. So I'm going to move into the green. Gua <laughs> Is we washing? We're washing. Hi, Anne. All right. So that's, um, what did I say? Scarlet and then scarlet crimson mix over here and i think i'm gonna do olive green hey phyllis phyllis is asking where she can get a traceable for tonight's tutorial pardon me this image is copyrighted so if you can freehand that's great or you could be creating click click hint hint i can't tell you but what you do at home. <laughs> Hi, Lori. Still trying to add, Katie? Oh, I just rubbed. How about that? Okay, well, we'll have a pink shadow under my tree. <laughs> oh, yeah, kind of Grinch green. Yep, I'm going to do a couple of different greens in here in this tree. It's like pea soup, yucky green. <laughs> but believe it or not, that is the green. So... <laughs> Just kind of mixing. This all is going to be foiled over, mostly. Christmas gram, it says it's still adding. Hi, Belinda. Hi, Susan. Thank you. 
Yeah, I'm getting it everywhere though. <laughs> See this? <laughs> I can't keep my hand out of it for nothing. You know, that's because it's red. That's why. It's because it's red and it's staining. Yeah, that's why. I keep having two people requesting to come on. I can't see who the second person is, but I don't know if that's um, blocking out. Just smudging it in there. <laughs> it's still trying to add to Miss Katie. It keeps coming back with connection failed, whatever that means. I even kicked my son off the computer, so I don't, it's not, I have a very fast internet connection that says that I should be able to support um, many things at once, so I'm not sure where the breakdown is. Pretty sure it's a Facebook thing, but. And I am not worried at all if the greens aren't matching or if it even looks like a tree in there because we're going to be foiling it and adding, you know, bling bling. Hi, Aurora. Saw ya. And Betty, hello. Hey, Betty, we're trying hard to get Katie on, but Facebook is not cooperating. We have been in and out of this. <laughs> this is our fourth time in tonight, third or fourth time. Katie's tried starting, I tried starting. We actually got on both of us for a few minutes long enough to do the scavenger hunt drawing. And then we both got booted. Thank you. It still says adding. All right, and then the tree trunk, I'm going to use burnt umber. Fourth time. Face butt. <laughs> I'm here. Oh, hey, Katie. Hi. <laughs> Katie's in the comments, y'all. Still trying to add her, but she's here. She's with us. So this is a little bit of burnt umber.
Okay, to give it just a little bit more, uh, I'm gonna mix a little burnt umber with some of the green just to get a lighter shade. And then just kind of, you know, put some bark in there. I'm actually going to use a little bit of white gouache. Give our tree trunk some texture. <laughs> Good Lord, hun. I'm glad you're enjoying that Bloody Mary. <laughs> I'm going to have some cherry Pepsi for you. Okay, I quit messing with that. And for the E, hmm. I think I'll go with the bright green. Wait. I'm thinking out. Oh. This one. I have these white um, foils that are um, part of the new white lace set. They're kind of a abstract patterns. I'm thinking I might get them in there somewhere. I really want to use these stars. I think I'm going to put these in the L. Oh, warm bed putting in half and half. I am so jealous, Phyllis. That sounds so good. Aw, oh, Betty, don't we ever? We do have the best group, don't we? I agree with Betty. Oh, wow, I just put way too much paint in there. <laughs> don't need that much green. <laughs> I'm going to go with a brighter green here on the E. I almost had a disaster. <laughs> Catastrophe averted. I think I'm going to use some of the snowflake um, on the V and then for the E. In the picture, there's buttons. I wish I really had some buttons. Oh, my goodness. Wouldn't that be cool? Maybe we'll just paint some buttons. I'm not good at that, but, I mean, it wouldn't be that hard, right? Right? 
How hard is it to paint buttons? <laughs> Pretty hard, I'm thinking. No answer, it says. I know you're there, so it's just being, it's lying. Facebook is lying to me about my friend Katie. All right, it says you quit answering, so she might have backed out to come back in. My dot foil and the hose. Are you talking about these? I know, Lori, this would be a perfect, Lori, you need to get the buttons on your rock. <laughs> Lori does the most beautiful art with um, antique jewelry. Oh my goodness. I'm telling your secrets, Lori. <laughs> Elaine, I'm sorry. I see. Sorry, painting the buttonholes. That's like a. <laughs> she said, "Paint in the buttonholes." Am I the only fourth grader here? <laughs> Nisi. <laughs> oh, do everything, Lori says. Okay, yes, we're gonna do it up. Go crazy. So while we are waiting for that to dry, I'm going to pick out, you know, I think I might do hollow. Okay. Okay. I, I, I think I got it. Hold, hold the phone back. Hold my beer. It's okay, Katie. Just paint. Don't worry no more. Just paint. You I know you could do this so beautifully. And I know you are doing it beautifully. All right, I think I got my plan. Okay, so stars, polka dots, and then the Christmas tree would just gonna bling out like bananas. Or we could do stars. Ooh, those stars on the Christmas tree would be pretty, huh? And I'm still adding Katie. It just says that you're not accepting, so I'm not sure what to do. It says you're requesting, but that there was no answer. <laughs> no answer from live video guest. I don't know what that means. Okay, so I'm liking the pearls. I also have these snowflakes too to decorate the tree and some blingies and just, oh look the iridescent snowflakes and regular white ones those are going to be pretty Broken snowflake. That's cool. Those are out there. The tree. 
and some pearls, of course. These are going to be pretty, just around, you know. And then I kind of feel like I want like some red or green, uh, maybe gold and silver. Um, rhinestones, just basic, or I could pull out the reds, and they don't really have like a green green in here. Thank you, Cindy, for these sets. I don't think she's on tonight, but hi, Christy. <laughs> Lori, put it all on. <laughs> Okay, and dump some glue on here, and then I'm just going to dump it all out on there. Right? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I'm feeling like the polka dots and the stars are all kind of too close to the same size. So, maybe I'll go back in with the, get off me. Um, this one's kind of cool, yeah. Maybe I'll put this one on the V, and then the, yep, there we go. And then these on the E's. I got it. Okay. I think that was the original plan anyways. <laughs> and I had to go messing with it. So then I think I might go back to all white and then do the L in. Okay, guys, help me pick. Okay, you ready? These are Wanda foils, too. We have this pattern. We can do the whole L. We have cobblestone. That's really pretty. I forget what this one's called, but that. It would be like. Or this one. Hi, Jana. Christy, yay! You ordered the shimmers or the um the new eye candy, these ones. I think this is what you're talking about. Or did you order the gouache, the Arteza? I don't know. I think I saw your order on mine. Or this it, what will we call this? Kaboom stars? <laughs> they look like little little bombs. Kabooms. <laughs> Lori, oh my gosh, use them all. Yes, I know. So I'm definitely putting this one on the V. I like this one over here on the V. And then I'm going to use the snowflakes on the E. Yeah, it's, I'm going with the white. I like the white. Yeah. But we got to put a little bit of bling. So let's see. Maybe we should put... Okay, we could separate and do the snowflakes on the L. And then we'll bling the tree. Maybe want to do the stars, the holographic stars over here. Or we could do, ooh, yeah, okay, I know. I think that's good on the V, but we could put the hollow stars on the V. Okay, we'll just do it like that. I'm not gonna, I'm gonna just quit second guessing like I always do. All right, I'm gonna gloves on and start this foiling. This is already beautiful. I love it. I love it. Okay. So I'm going to be using, I, I don't know, the name of the glue that I've been using recently, I'm really loving it, is that. So it's G-A-N-E-N, -E literally, G-A-N-E-N. -E so I don't know if it's gay and N, gone and ja, J and N, I don't know. I have no idea.
Hello, Jim. I see you. Are you going to be adding some movement to our work here? So in the bigger sections, I'm just going to use it right from the bottle. When I get into the corners, I will switch over to my disposable eyeliner brush so that I can do some detail without getting it everywhere. Hi, Cher. Every time you guys see the phone bounce, it's me trying to add Katie. <laughs> uh, it must be 50 times by now. I don't think Facebook likes me tonight. Ooh, Christy, beautiful idea. String some pearls around the tree. What a good idea. I do have... Oh, no, I don't know where I put it, though. Katie! <laughs> oh, oh my gosh, it's still out here. This is just too much. Okay, so. Stars for the tree, yeah, because there's a big star in there. It is red, but, okay, let me get. Disposable all on your brush. Gonna torch out bubbles and cure with my little light. <laughs> Christy, I know, aren't they pretty? These dang pearls. I'm not sure where Cindy got them, if they were on Amazon or at um, like Joann's, but they are gorgeous. And coming colors to you. Oh my gosh, I forgot what I was doing. What are we putting on the L? Oh, no. <laughs> oh, I forgot, and I moved all my foils around. Is it the snowflakes on the L? Gosh, I don't think it is. Oh no. The snowflakes on the E. Oh my gosh, you guys, my brain. Okay, these were these were on the L, right? Okay. 
Nope, I missed the little edge there. That's okay, we're gonna put stars on the L. <laughs> A little late now, right? Yeah. You know what? It always works out, so no sweat. What is going on here? Did I put it on the wrong side? No, we got it. And <laughs> Lori, stars on everything. Hi, Jenny. Oh my gosh, you guys, there's 38 of you watching. That is so awesome. Thank you. Look how pretty. Oh, I missed a spot down there. Or was it just a... <laughs> it's okay. All right. And the... V was this one, right? So for this, I need to trim the edges. Okay. Actually, no, I gotta trim it. See these edges? I'm gonna just show you in case you've never seen this before. There's a clear edge here. And it is a booger when you're trying to line up a pattern because it actually has foil on it, even if it's clear. So if you lay it down there and then you try to line up your foils, you're going to have a blank spot. So if you want to do a, a um, seam, you, you seam two together, you need to get rid of this edge. So Just cut it off. Not the straightest cut, but so I'll do like that, right? That, and then we'll cut another one. And we'll join them like like that close, you know, so it'll kind of mesh up closely. There we go. I need to cut a straighter line for one. Okay, once you find your pattern and you get it lined up, tape it. <sighs> Deep breath and then tape it. <laughs> Good night, Julie. <laughs> no, these foils won't fool our Katie. I don't see the little red. <gasps> Did it? Ah. Oh. Oh well, close enough. Too hard to undo it. All right, so I'm gonna do the glue on the V.
Wow, that's a lot of glue there. Don't be me. Part in this time is while I try to fix my pool of glue here. I see you. Bye, Yvonne. You got your L done. Yay, Katie. See, you're not behind. What do you mean? You just got the red done? She'll be coming around the mountain when she comes. Come on. I'm waiting for it to self-level just a little bit, and then I will cure it. It says three people are trying to come on live. I don't know who that is. <laughs> I keep grabbing who I think is Katie. <laughs> But it's not letting anybody come on, so. Hi, Helen. We're going to cure. I'm going to start way back out here. My rock is very cold. My glue is cold. So it wants to wrinkle even with my little flashlight because everything is too cold. So I'm starting far away and giving it a chance to cure the top a bit so it doesn't wrinkle. And then I'll move in. You just have to baby it. 
when the temperatures are colder. It is not cold in Texas, but it's colder than normal. And it's colder than glue likes to be. So I'm still trying, Katie. <laughs> yeah, what movie? Helen, what movie were you watching? We are good. Yay. Okay, so what I do with my my seam. Okay. Can everybody say a little? <laughs> They're staticky and they just want to fly out of my hand. Okay. Please work. Maybe I cured too much. You have to baby some foil. You know, for some reason, the tape is on the top of the foil, but where it's at, it's not allowing the foil to lay down. How is that even possible? Okay, now my brain is hurting. That doesn't make any sense right there. What is going on right now? <laughs> what in the world? That's okay. We do foil issues together. <laughs> okay, I've never seen tape interfere with a uh, transfer, but it's definitely interfering tonight, and I'll show you. It's on top of the foil. How is that even happening right now? Oh, that's better. Okay, maybe I just needed to cure it extra. See, sometimes you just have to play around until you get what you want. Throw a fit until you get your way, pretty much, right? Okay, this is getting better. It's not the best transfer I've ever done, but... <laughs> Sometimes you gotta work at it. Yeah, it was thick, but it's pretty cured. Let's see. But the glue wasn't thick where the tape was. That was just weird with the tape. Oh, get off of there. Okay, not bad. I like it. See, pretty. I don't like my seam, though. The seam, um, I could do better than that. Okay, so that's that one. Blah. Yeah, okay. I had some thick glue. I'll give it to you. <laughs> All right. Did we decide snowflakes on the E? I think that's what it was, right? Is it the snowflake? Bambi, I know the first time... Um, I used my flashlight too. It was like the batteries lasted for a long time, but I noticed like the second time they went real fast, but 
I can't remember if I had different batteries in the first ones. These are the Energizer Max. These seem to be doing okay. It, the batteries do make a huge difference. All right, we're going to do the snowflakes on this one. And I'm not going to pour my glue. <laughs> I'm going to I'm gonna contain myself. <laughs> But Linda, the purple ones aren't as bright. Hmm. I kind of like the dimmer, not, it has to be a 12 LED, but I, I don't like the aggressive ones because they do cause wrinkles and bubbles and all that. So I think that's why I like this purple one. It's just pretty, I, I'm just pretty confident that it works really well. But I do, I have a set of black ones that I really love too. And they're, Generic, they don't even have a name, brand name. The purple one, I believe, is Everbright or something. Uh oh, what I miss? Oh, I thought was Neesy. A naughty remark. Oh, oh, Neesy, the black one. The black flashlights are the best. No, they're not. I don't have a best best, but I like the purple one the best and the black one second best. <laughs> nope, not going there. <laughs> Warm. Um, actually, I think the the resin can handle the higher wattage light. Uh, the glue, no way, Jose. But the resin and top coats can handle those higher lights. Question was, uh, has anyone used a big UV resin cure light over 120 watts? Wondering if it would wreck our rock resin. Hi, Holly. <laughs> that was Wanda. Yes, Deanie. <laughs> oh, oh, can you not hear me? Some people have been having some sound issues.
if you're wondering which side of your foil goes on the rock, if you have on gloves, drag your fingers across the foil and you'll feel kind of a drag on the side that goes on the rock. Sometimes it's really hard to tell, like, oh, I don't know. It's the dull side that goes on the rock. So if you can find the dull, which is the side I'm showing you, and it's not showing enough, but see the dullness on the pattern versus 100% shine on this side. So you want that dull side down. Wow, I'm gonna have to make a pattern here too. How about that? It's okay, I think I can do it. I can. I got this. All right. Put that one down and then find it. There it is. And oh nope. I will find it. It'll take me a minute. There's always like a double, see there it is right there, but I want to fix it. Okay, so it's like, hmm. Nice. No. No. All right, we're just going to have to wing it here. Okay, that'll work. And Perfect. See, you can't even tell hardly. I like it. Oh, I like it so much. Okay. I think I'm going to reline really quick and then um, start with the tree. Ta -da! <laughs> Thank you. Thanks, guys. I'm going to do a thicker black line around. your pens and gouache don't like each other very much so try to go around it and not on it or in it or if you can spray Oh, 
Hi, Joyce. Katie's in the comments. We've been trying all night to get her on here, but the the stream is not working. So only one of us could go on. But I'm continually trying. We keep inviting and adding and it keeps bumping. So just do what we can. Oh, thank you. Got a little thick over here. If you have to go over the gouache, go light-handed, don't dig. <laughs> Nisi, that's true. Nisi says Facebook is being a two-year-old, but she did not say Facebook. <laughs> it's meta, right? Metamucil is not behaving. Personally, I think they think they know what's best for us, and they're, what's that called when they, not monitor, but. I don't know what I'm trying to say. What are the words? Are they censoring us <laughs> from what? <laughs> oh, no, we have, you know, too much kindness around here. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Look out. I know, Nisi. I feel the same way. It's like, um, I don't. I think I, I don't think we have single identity anymore. We're like the Wanda and Katie show. Even my husband calls her wife number two. Oh, baby, but alas, it must be done. We could leave the tree, but, you know, I got to have some wing. It's a tree. We got to decorate it. We're going to decorate the Christmas tree together, guys. Is a must. <laughs> yes, Facebook meanies. Hi, Katie.
enjoys. <laughs> Does my husband ever stand behind me and watch? Nope, he never has done that. Not once. Not not with this anyways. He does that cooking. Drives me bananas, but he's not so much interested. That'd be like me standing over his shoulder watching him build a cabinet or a whatever he's building. But that would be kind of fun if he did, if he ever sat down and like actually, ooh, that would be fun. I wonder what he would make. I think I've seen him draw like freehand draw one time in 25 years. <laughs> Not that he can't because I'm pretty sure I remember it was like, what's that cartoon dog? Um, From a long time ago. Here I am to save the day. What dog is that? Is that the dog? Or is that Mighty Mouse? Lord, I don't know. That dog that laughed funny. <laughs> that dog. What dog was that? <laughs> Underdog. Duh. Thank you, Jim. <laughs> underdog, yeah, I think he drew underdog really, really well, <laughs> like 18 years ago. Now, he's very, 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 very good at drawing architectural things. That's his, he's not an architect, but he built buildings for 35 years. We're getting closer. Have you guys fallen asleep yet? See, it'd be so nice if on these long lives we could have some music or something, right? Maybe I need to start hiring a live band or musician. <laughs> okay, hit it, boys. <laughs> How you doing, Miss Katie? Are you catching up? Last time I checked in, I think you said you had the L done. Hey, we still need to see your girl, too. Almost done. Yay. Now I'll bet you're smoking me, aren't you? Okay. Now that I have carpal tunnel again. <laughs> Just kidding. Doing good. Doing good. Okay, so I'm thinking just, you know, random, oops,
trash. Okay, like something like that, maybe. And I thought I wanted these stars, but they don't look right anymore. Maybe I could just put some of the sequence stars in there. Maybe that one. Let's see. Um, hang on. what we can make for a topper. We can be creative, right? Oops. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just winging it here. So we'll have to play around with this for a minute till I can see where I'm going with it. She got sh <laughs> uh oh, Nisi got shushed. <laughs> what did I miss? I wasn't looking up. See, I gotta, I gotta keep looking up. Oh, I think I need to change those little. Hold the phone. Okay. Need. Oh, I found a better thing to do. I know. Stay there. Yay, look. See, I might actually have done some math right there. Good Lord, call the press. Anyways, we'll make that work. We'll stick that right together. And look, we got a Christmas star. So it'll work. Pretty, huh? Ha <laughs> ha. Now I have it. Here I am to save the day. Are you still trying to get on, Katie? Because it keeps telling me you are. If you're not, then somebody else is. <laughs> I'm. I continually keep adding. Okay. And pop a couple of these diamondy-looking bits in around here. That one's too big. I like these.
Jenna, are you asking me if I use a flashlight? I'm sorry, I just looked up and saw the question, do I use a flashlight? I think you're talking to me. I think that's good. And I'm just going to put a few little ones in there. The little babies. And I like it. That's a good question, Dan. I should, huh? I should foil the trunk. What foil should we use on the trunk, guys? One under my pen. This that would be interesting. I like that. Okay. I do have a crackle that I think would look really pretty. Let me show you. I mean, you guys have seen this crackle in every color I can find it in, but wouldn't that be kind of cool? Are you talking to me, Katie? Am I using the desk light? This. Yes. I think I like this. No. <laughs> okay, I'm hoping that was no, I'm not talking to you. <laughs> Yes, you got to have this. This is your best friend in foiling. Very best friend in foiling. It doesn't have to be this one, but 12, 12 of these, 12 LED UV, UV flashlight. <laughs> okay, I got to clear up the mess and we're going to put it all together here. You guys are very patient. Goodness. Thank you, friends. Bet you guys wonder what I do with all of these that I cut and don't use, huh? I gently put them in a big basket and then Miss Katie, like these used ones, they go in a different basket, but then like the ones that I cut and didn't use, Miss Katie uses those for mystery pack. No, this isn't the mystery pack. This is for the random sample packs. So, now you know. It's not where they all come from, but that's where a lot of them come from, right? So I try to cut them about the same size. Let me do this um, trunk real quick and then we will start sealing.
Exactly. Yep. Jana, I agree. Pretty inexpensive. Best ah, best friend. Oh. Right into the glue. <laughs> out you go. Get out of my glue. Get into my car. Who me? Yeah, you. Thank you, Christy. So guys, I don't know if you guys saw, but I have some fun. The brushes are here, the mermaid brushes and the unicorn brushes. So I've got, um, these are the unicorn, I call them unicorn, like a unicorn torn. And they're the same brushes, the liner brushes as my friendly handy favorite ones with different handles and then the mermaids are in so those are also here same brushes i believe it's six nine and eleven millimeter um, brushes on there and they're fine ultra fine liners <laughs> I think they're so much fun. <laughs> I'm nuts. I'm spoiled though. I'm like, oh my gosh, a mermaid brush. And actually, even though they have this like texture on them, it's kind of a nice grip, you know? And they're a little longer. So I kind of like that. They're kind of weird in the cup, but that's why I got the other ones too. If you guys weren't into the tail bit, it's basically the same brush with some added ribs here and then no tail. All right, let's see how we did. We did good. Woohoo! Oh, I love it. That was a good call. See, teamwork. You guys are awesome. What would I do without you? Miss Katie. Okay, so I'm going to do my thing that I love. I'm going to use top coat. And coat. First, I'm going to do the tree, and then I'll do the layers. I'm going to add my top coat and then put my beads in the top coat to set them. And instead of sealing my whole rock, because I love the bare stone, I'm just going to seal my artwork. And because we're, because we're using gouache, it will turn darker when sealed unless you spray it first.
Thank you. I missed it, Dini. All I see is please. I'm sorry. And then I saw podcast doesn't bleed with top coat. And I'm assuming that's Posca's. I know. Spellchecker loves to murder that. <laughs> yeah. Posca doesn't bleed with top coat. Thanks, Lumi. Yay. Or resin generally. Uh, not all resin, just UV resin. UV resin is pretty safe, and I think it's because we work with it really fast, like we cure it quickly. Right? Okay. So I am going to try to do this star. Pretty cool. I like it. Yes, the Everbright is perfect, exactly, Eileen. Perfect, perfect. Get on my tool. Thank you. I'm talking to the beads now. It's getting pretty. Oh, Helen, I'm sorry. Elaine, don't worry about saving it. It's always available in the group. You don't ever have to worry about saving these um, lives. I save them for you. So all you got to do is to come into the group, go to the guides, or ask me, or go to my YouTube channel. Generally, I load them there. If they're not on mine, they're on Katie's. And if they're in neither, then they're definitely in the group. And um, any of the admin team can help you find the guides. Or you can use hashtag WandaLive. And when you're in the group, go to the search feature, type in hashtag WandaLive. And though it won't put them in order, it will give you a boatload of things to scroll through and find something a tutorial but Margie has uh, arranged our guides where you can just uh, look through the guides and it they're kind of categorized so you can easily find what you're looking for like this one will go under holidays oh <laughs> saving the rock yeah I'll shut up well good information for somebody I'm sorry yeah you could save the rock <laughs> 
my bad. I'm just being thorough. <laughs> Sorry. It's hard because I have a delay on the on the monitor. Yeah, you know, while my screen. Sorry. Do forgive me. <laughs> hey, at least you know I was paying attention, right? Okay, I think I'm going to cure it. Oh, crud. There. My, my, my. The movie's so pretty. Thanks, Joyce. They glow in the dark, too. Or they glow in the... See their UV. That's a surprise. I didn't know that. But they are. They're, they fluoresce. Oh, cool. All right, I just set the top. Now I'm going to hit it with my alien spaceship here. <laughs> this is the big old granddaddy introduced by Kathleen Corman. This is a 100 LED UV flashlight. I don't recommend it for glue in the winter months. On warmer days, it may work, but the colder your glue is, the colder your rocks are, it will just wrinkle them. It's way too strong. But it's good for curing top coat. Yes. And quickly. But look at that. A hundred. <laughs> it's fun. Okay. Now I'm just going to seal my letters and we are done. Thanks guys for hanging out and through all that craziness with the Facebook and the stream and I'm sorry about that but I'm very very excited that you guys found your way back and that we all got to hang out forever you know I have to say that our count's been at 35 between 35 and 40 the entire live so thank you that's great that means you guys are like really hanging on hanging out that's a long time. Do you guys know that? You could have watched a movie. I got the large light from Amazon Phyllis. Um, just type in 100 LED UV flashlight and it'll bring up a few. Um, I can't remember offhand which one it is, but I do have a link. Um, if you'll give me a moment after the live, I will put it in there up in the description. Oh. What are we talking about? A small bottle? Uh, are we talking about the UV? This is not what's in here. Nope. This is Delixir top coat. Oh, you're welcome, Nisi. Katie and I really, really, really enjoy doing these and hanging with you guys. So, and we really enjoy doing them together. So the more we can do that, the better. But like tonight, if we ever can't make it happen, we're trying to brave out there by ourselves. <laughs> you know, we want you guys to have your tutorials too. It's not all about us. <laughs> it's 
So the way I like to do mine is I just seal my artwork. If you notice, I'm not going over my whole rock. And I'm not crazy, you know, I'm not like super crazy about like the line around my work. I just kind of, you know, go quarter inch, eighth inch, quarter inch outside of my, my art and then seal it like that. And that way it gives this beautiful contrast of the rock and the art. So you get the best of both. And it saves on resin. Not that top coat's very ch much cheaper, but Seems like I go through a lot less of both. Aw, oh, thanks, Nisi. Love you too, right back. If you're watching this um, after the fact on YouTube, come on over to Creative. Um, <laughs> What's the name of my group? Creative Rock Art and Foiling Techniques. Holy moly. <laughs> I'm tired. Anyways, come find us. We call it craft. I don't know if you can look it up that way on Facebook, though. I don't think so. Anyways, uh, Creative Rock Art and Foil Techniques on Facebook. And um, join us on Friday Night Lives. These are fun. I usually, Katie and I usually go on at 7.30 p.m. Central Fridays. Friday nights. And we do um, try to go on during the week, you know, once or twice. And they're never scheduled. We just kind of pop in and surprise you. We've been a little less lately, but we're trying to do better. Top coat's not as versatile with the torch. It doesn't really clear out with that sometimes you just have to let it sit i'll show you see the l how it's nice and glossy and can you see all the bubbles in the v and the e so we'll let those sit <laughs> and i'll try to get this over here well those are the bubbles are kind of dissipating thank you guys thank you Thank you very much. Thank you. And I'm just giving it a top cure and then I'll hit it with the bigger light. <laughs> yes, Dini. Oh, thank you. I always forget that. And then I have to go back and do it. Dini asked, will I top coat my signature? Yes. What is wrong with me? I always forget that. Dun, dun, dun. Bloop, 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 bloop. Done. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Dini. And thank you, Sarah. Thank you, everyone. All right, let me check. I think we're good. Yay, we're done. All right, let's take a peek. You guys ready? Get the glare off of it. There we are. Let me turn on my flash so we can see the hollow. Oh, come on, flash. There we go.
That's a beautiful rock. Oh, okay. lost the top one. There we go. Thanks, guys, for hanging out. I had an awesome time here. I'm terribly sorry that Katie didn't ever get on, but I'm so happy that she joined us in the comments. Katie, if you're here, mwah, I know that she's saying goodbye to you guys as well. Hugs, everybody, and have a happy weekend and a great night.